Let's make Taiwanese fried pork chop. And here are the ingredients you will need for this dish. We will start with prepping the pork. And in case you're wondering, those are not my hands. My husband is our official pork chop pounder. How much garlic to use? I basically like having enough to spread across the pork chop pieces. This was a recipe that was shared by my mom's friend. And yep, it came with no measurements. I'm assuming you like the taste of five spice powder. Otherwise, Taiwanese pork chop may not be right for you. And just do the same to the other side and massage them all in. Although we leave the pork chops in the refrigerator to marinate, I sometimes freeze extra pieces for later use. And yes, let's be patient and wait for those few minutes for the powder to set on the meat. Take note that we will be double frying the pork chops. The first fry cooks the meat. With the second fry on the other hand, we will use the high heat to give the outer layer a crisper finish. Oh, and do keep the heat on until the pork chop is removed. Otherwise, oil will be reabsorbed back into the meat once temperature drops. Funny. The kids used to tell me that whenever they heard the pounding in the kitchen and smelled the five spice powder, they always knew it was going to be Taiwanese fried pork chop for dinner. So, do you plan to serve this with rice or with noodles? <laughs> 